new mic who this it's the quality for me no basic zone and your girl Stishy back with another video. If you are new then hey boo, my name is Stishy. Make sure that if you are new you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. We want you to become a part of the Stish Gang. We're trying to touch 5k by the end of the year and we want you to join us along the journey. So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel you guys. You guys know I'm always happy to have you guys back to check out a brand new video. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing all the things that I picked up recently from Amazon from like yesterday all the way back to maybe like three months ago. I've just been ordering tech stuff. I've been trying to get my lighting and just my filming situation set up so I got new lights last night along with a few other accessories and it's my first time using them today so as I mentioned today I'm gonna to be sharing all of my latest Amazon tech gadgets so I'm gonna go ahead and link everything that I mentioned in today's video down below so if you want to check out any of these items that I mentioned in today's video then I will have everything linked down below I do want to mention that I am an Amazon affiliate so in the event that you shop any of the items that I mentioned today if you want to pick up any of the items that I mentioned today I do earn a small coin from your purchase so I do have to throw that out there I do have to make that disclosure and with no further ado let's go ahead and get right into today's video because I have a lot of stuff that I want to show you all okay so I honestly just have my phone propped up right here and I'm just gonna go down the list and tell you guys about each and every item that I purchased that are tech related so the first thing or the first things that I picked up was the newer 2-pack 480 LED video lighting kit. So they're basically two mini soft boxes. So I've mentioned numerous times on my channel that I have a pretty small room. The soft boxes would just be just be too, too much, girl. It would just be too much. It would take up with my whole room. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a video showing you guys how my setup looks right now with the soft boxes on. I actually set them up last night because they did come in the mail yesterday. So it wasn't too hard to set up. I did have trouble like putting on the soft boxes because I didn't know how to put them on. It's my first time getting soft boxes, but I found a video that helped me set it up and I was like, doy. So yeah, right now I have my soft boxes on and I also have another ring light positioned a little further over on that side so let me not so let me know how you guys are liking the lighting for today's video I filmed another video prior to this um, showing you guys how I achieved this eye look so if you guys have already watched that video and you guys like the lighting then same setup same situation so far I think it looks really good yeah, let me know how you guys are liking it the second thing that came in yesterday was a mic so I went ahead and picked up a mic this is what it well this is what the box looks like the mic is actually on the hot shoe for my camera so it is the Comica professional audio um, equipment it is the condenser shotgun video microphone so this is the v30 pro I sound like I'm super into technology <laughs> but I promise you like half of these things I'm just like oh let me look at the reviews someone else like this da, da, da. okay let me go ahead and buy it. I promise you guys I'm tech savvy but I don't know like the ins and outs of every single product I just look at the reviews and I test it out and if I don't like it I send it back and if I like it I keep it so I'll go ahead and insert a little clip showing you guys what the mic looks like on top of my camera because I do have it on top of my camera also using the mic today and I feel like it really does help me sound a lot more crisp but I've always liked the mic that my camera has the built-in mic but I'm trying to level up I'm trying to increase the quality of my content so new mic who this? I will say this mic also comes with a wind muff. I haven't used the wind muff as yet because I feel like you really only need that when you're like outside to get rid of the sound of like wind and stuff like that but it does come with a wind muff as well which is pretty pretty cool and I've always wanted a what are those mics called? I'll put the name up right here because it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't get it out but yes I've always wanted one of those mics. This mic was like half the price and it does a pretty good job so if you're looking for a mic and you don't and you want to get a shotgun mic and you don't necessarily want to get those the ones that you know looks like a headphone then you can go ahead and get this one I'll leave it linked down below it's not as expensive and you know we love to save a little bit of money over here the next thing that I picked up was a photography reflector so I have it positioned right underneath me right here I have it actually on my table and it just helps to make my face look a little bit more lit from underneath my good sis Tyra and Kendra both mentioned that this is a staple so I went ahead and picked one up 
I definitely see a difference if I'm using this compared to when I'm not using this so I would definitely recommend this it's collapsible so I can go ahead and roll it back up and store it away I honestly have to ask my mom to do it because for some reason I just can't I just can't fold it back up but I like the fact that you can change the color so if you want to have it silver you can keep it silver if you want to have it gold because you want the, warm, the room to look a little bit more warm then you can do that as well and this is really great for if you want to take pictures if you are doing like beauty shots and stuff like that and beauty videos then I would highly recommend this it's definitely helped me a ton okay this is with the reflector light this is without it you see how I'm a little bit darker just a little bit get you on girls put me on now I'm trying to put you on the next thing that I picked up was another ring light so I picked this ring light up when did it get delivered on July 15th it got delivered I had a ring light a newer ring light prior to this one but it broke my silly self was opening my closet door and it just fell and when it once it fell I already knew what happened so I went ahead and picked up another newer ring light I honestly love my newer ring lights in my second one and I would highly recommend you getting a newer ring light if you're looking if you're looking for a ring light and you don't know which one to get newer is the girl so I got the 18 inch it does come with a tripod it comes with a carrying bag and it also comes with some other things that you can use to reflect light and newer was actually having a little sale on Amazon so I looked up so I'll go ahead and link that down below be on the lookout for newer sales because they often have sales on Amazon so you can also so you can get some of their products for this kind of price so if anything put it on your put it on your wish list and just watch it this next thing that I picked up was this 12 slot memory card case thingamajig so one side holds six memory cards the other side holds six memory cards so oftentimes I find that my memory card is full but I don't want to get rid of any of the content on the memory card but I need to put it somewhere this is where I've been putting it so this is really neat I haven't filled up all of the slots as yet but as time progresses and as I create more content I know that I'm gonna run through memory cards so this is a cute little nifty thing for you to use to store away some of your memory cards if you are a youtuber if you take pictures or I don't know you just have a lot of memory cards you can use this to sew them away I'm actually thinking about labeling each slot so I know what's actually on each memory card sorry guys my camera died so I had to go ahead and switch the battery out lucky for me I have numerous batteries I'll get to the batteries in a second being that we were just talking about memory cards I want to talk to you guys about this adapter that I recently picked up now, I had another adapter prior to this but I found that it limited me like I couldn't charge my MacBook while also using my external hard drive because I have a MacBook I think this is a 13 inch but the way the new MacBooks are set up you only have a one hole and the hole is for the charger okay you can't put anything you can't plug anything else in there so I went ahead and picked up this USB-C hub type adapter so or USB type C adapter <laughs> A lot of words, yeah, a lot of words. So it has 11 different slots in total from HDMI to USB to USB-C to um, memory card slots. So I picked this up because with my last um, USB-C adapter, I didn't have the option to stick my memory cards in here. So I'd find that I'd have to use another adapter to transfer in, to transfer the content on my memory cards onto my computer. Now I can do it with this while also, say, charging my laptop or while also charging my phone. This allows me to do new things with this one adapter so I highly recommend this if you have like a MacBook and you need to connect to like an HDMI to see your camera to mirror your camera or you need to charge your MacBook while I don't know charging your phone the options are endless but I highly recommend this I did go ahead and put the tear sticker on top of it just so you know spice it up just a little bit this is from a black owned brand this is not from Amazon but it just you know makes it a little funky makes it a little cute but yes, this USB-C HDMI adapter comes in very, very handy. So I highly suggest you get one of these if you have a MacBook and you only have one um, slot to plug things in. This is your girl. Next thing that I picked up was this Canon remote. Now this remote has saved my life. It has helped me take pictures on my Canon. It has helped me record videos, stop videos because it's very annoying getting up to stop, start, stop, start. So this is a little pricey. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's like forty dollars, but it really is worth it. Not gonna lie. If you have a DSLR, double check to make sure that it um it's compatible with your camera. I have a Canon EOS 80D. I'll show you guys that in a bit, but this little remote is so clutch, y'all. It is just so clutch. And it does come in this nice little pouch, so I could just close it, stow it away until the next time that I have to record, but I'm recording right now, so I'm gonna take it back out. But yes, I use this every single time that I record a video. So if you have a DSLR, 
um, Canon. I highly suggest you pick one of these up, but this is solely for Canon cameras, DSLR cameras. So with that being said, let's move on to my camera. So as I mentioned, I have the Canon 80D. It is a DSLR camera, and honestly, I've been loving it. I purchased the camera. When did I purchase this camera? I purchased the camera on May 28th. What month are we in? Honestly, I've lost track of the days, but I purchased it in May on May 28th, and I've been loving it so far. I'm recording on it right now. I've been taking a lot of my pictures on Instagram on this camera. I highly recommend that if you are going to purchase a camera, do your research because you're going to be dishing out a lot of coins. I'd hate for you to spend money on a camera that you don't like and you know end up having to return it. So make sure you do your research on whatever camera you want to purchase. But I personally love my Canon 80D. It is a pretty penny. Not gonna lie but I really really like this camera now I went ahead and picked up just the body on Amazon because I wanted to purchase a separate lens I didn't want the kit lens I know you can make the most out of a kit lens but I just wanted to you know treat myself and get a good lens so the lens that I'm currently filming with the lens that is attached to my Canon 80D is the Sigma 18 the 35 millimeter lens I think it's the f 1.8 or something like that everything will be in my Amazon shop so if you're interested in any of the things that I'm talking about if I get the names wrong it'll be linked down below in my Amazon shop under tech got a sigma lens this lens damn near was it was damn near i might as well have got another camera if i'm going to be 100 percent honest it's, it's a pretty penny this this lens was a pretty penny but i really like the quality of the lens and i wanted it mostly for like sit down videos i wanted you guys to see my pores see every little part of my face and i feel like sis you're all up all up in my face at this point right you you can see every single line in my face right okay that's that's what i paid for period it's the quality for me and my Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens did come in this case which is pretty nice because whenever I'm finished recording I take my lens off my camera I don't keep it on there because it is a pretty heavy lens and I just go ahead and you know put the caps right back on it and put it right back in its case and as I mentioned if I'm going to be buying an expensive camera I'm going to do my best to protect my expensive camera so I also got a silicone camera case for my Canon EOS 80D I went ahead and picked up the yellow one they didn't have too many colors color options but I actually like yellow as well and on my Canon GX7 I have a pink case because again I'm gonna protect I'm gonna protect my investments okay that's just what I'm gonna do so this was pretty affordable not only does it protect the camera but it just makes it look extra cute so I'm always here for that I highly recommend you get a camera case if you're going to be purchasing an expensive camera or just a camera in general you wouldn't well I this is just me I'm not gonna be carrying around a thousand dollar phone or a thousand dollar camera and not protect it that's, that's just not me. I also went ahead and picked up a tempered glass screen protector for my Canon 80D. I also have one on my Canon GX7. This is one thing about me. If I'm going to pay a lot of money, baby, I'm going to try to protect it. Same thing as I would my phone. I have a screen protector, a glass screen protector on my phone as well. And it's just very important. If you're going to spend $800 plus, dollars, you need to be protecting these items. Make sure it's scratch free and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and link that down below as well. The protectors do come in a pack of free, so that definitely helps me out a ton. So in the event one break, I can go ahead and switch it out so when I purchased the body I wasn't sure if it was going to come with batteries so I went ahead and picked up some extra batteries and the body did come with a battery so I was very happy about that and honestly it's always nice to have extra batteries for any camera that you have because in the event one battery dies you don't want to wait 30 40 minutes for it to charge before you end complete the video so I went ahead and picked up two extra batteries just in case just to make sure that I always have backup batteries so I don't have to wait for one to charge before I can complete a video or before I can finish a video so I got a two pack pack of LPE 6N batteries and it comes with a blue dual battery charger. These batteries can be used on a lot of the Canon DSLR cameras and it came with this little mini cord and then you can use a USB to um, charge the batteries itself. So usually I just plug it in near my bed if I really wanted to. I could plug it into the adapter that I showed you guys prior and plug this into my computer and charge the batteries. So I highly recommend you get backup batteries because listen, it's just a struggle when one dies and you gotta wait. That's that's not the way to go. So when I initially picked up my Canon 80D, I didn't realize that it was gonna come with a strap, so I went ahead and picked up another one just in case. But I do have an extra strap. The strap that I have right now is black. This one is red, so I can just switch it out to like match outfits or whatever. If I feel like switching them out, that's what I have this for. But the body does come with a strap. So the last thing that I want to show you guys is actually a tool, but it is used for content creation, along with all the other things that I mentioned in today's video. And it is this rose gold stylus that I recently picked up. I got this 
this stylus on May 31st and I got this because my mom actually has a stylus that she uses. Hers has a stylus on one end and a pen on the other and she's pretty much always on her phone tapping around. So I would initially use hers to try to create my Instagram stories to make it more fun, make it more cute. But half the time she was like, where's my pen? Where's my stylus? So I would just went ahead and picked up my own. Now this one does come in five colors. I got the rose gold because my favorite color is pink and my phone stand is rose gold i showed you guys this in another one of my amazon hauls and my macbook is rose gold as well so so i'm just keeping up with the themes here at this point so that's why i went ahead and got the rose gold but this has been saving my life i will be on instagram for a good 10 minutes trying to draw something out when the stylist two tries and I'm good to go. So I would highly recommend you get a stylist if you're a content creator or you just like creating content, you like making your stories look cool, you don't even have to be a content creator. This saves my life and sometimes I even text with it if I don't feel like, you know, tapping away. So this is really, really cute and it's super affordable, y'all. Like this is hella affordable. So go ahead and pick yourself up a stylist. They do have numerous colors as I mentioned. So if you don't want the rose gold, you can get another color. These are all the tech related things that I recently picked up between yesterday and May from camera to soft boxes to stylus to batteries all of it so again let me know how you guys are feeling the quality of today's video because it's my first time using the soft boxes to record so let me know how you guys are feeling that and also the audio because everything else i've had for a little while if you have plans to pick up any of these items let me know down below if you have any of these items that i mentioned today let me know down below make sure you leave your girl a big thumbs up that way i'll know you guys want to see more amazon hauls you guys like videos like this and i'll continue to create videos like this for you guys if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below right away over there right over there so that way you can officially become a part of the stitch gang and turn on your post notification bell to be alerted whenever i upload a new video so until next time until next video until next upload until next post i'll see you guys all in the next one bye guys and everything so so this is what it looks like i'm sure my mic is picking up all the background noises it's the bikes for me is it not fall now why are you guys still riding bikes so I went ahead and picked up this USB HBC hub is that what it's called <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up this USB um, God damn it. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked up this USB C H B so I went <laughs> we're two newer so I went ahead and picked up this U.S. Why is this tripping me up? So again, let me know how you guys are feeling today. The car. So again, let me get. So I went. <laughs> I cannot take myself serious. How do these people want to take me seriously? Isn't that a little nippy for the bike?